It's your boy the Hot Rod Stu here and today I will be logging in another entry to the Quirk Registry by examining the Quirk all for one. There will be some major manga spoilers ahead so you have been warned. All for One is an emitter type quirk that allows the user to steal the quirks of other people. The current user of the quirk is the leader of the League of Villains, Tomura Shigaraki, but its former user was in fact the super villain All for One. The person All for One now has a copied version of the All for One quirk. Nine from the movie Heroes Rising also has a copy of the All for One quirk. The name of this quirk is very similar to One For All, but the words have been reversed. The implication here is that this quirk is the opposite of that one, and for the most part, that is true. While One For All was supposed to mean one power to protect all people, All For One implies that there's only one person who selfishly hoards all of the power for themselves like a monarch. It conveys that the user of this quirk believes that they are above all others and those beneath them are not worthy of power. Not only are the moral implications reversed, but it's implied that the function of this quirk has been reversed as well. Because the name All For One implies that all of these quirks can be possessed by one person. This hints towards the idea that the user can take other people's quirks and use them as their own. The fact that the names and the meanings behind All For One and One For All are so opposite conveys that the users of these quirks would be mortal enemies. Like I said at the beginning, All For One is an emitter quirk that allows its user to steal quirks and wield those powers as their own. It allows them to redistribute those powers to other people as well. However, in order to activate either of those abilities, the user must be touching the target with the palm of their hands. This also means that if the user, All For One, loses their hands, the quirk will become completely useless as the hands are the quirk factor. When a mutant type quirk is taken, the original quirk holder loses all of those abnormal features. That being said, the user of All For One wouldn't gain those mutant features, but they can summon them at will, almost like a transformation quirk. Those who get their quirk snatched seem to be more disoriented and immobile for a short period of time. Sometimes stolen quirks can merge and become part of All For One, which isn't too dissimilar from One For All. Because of this, it's also possible for quirks within All For One to evolve and grow stronger when mixed with other quirks. It's possible for this quirk to transfer from one user to another. We know this is the case because it was able to be transferred from All For One, the person, to Tomura Shigaraki. Since some of these quirks became part of All For One, the stolen quirks were able to be transferred along with the main All For One quirk. Shigaraki also has a mental leak with the previous user whose psyche was imprinted onto the All For One quirk, which is very similar to how Midoriya can communicate with the previous users of One For All. So basically, because these quirks contain the consciousness of their donor, both One For All and All For One have mental realms. These realms were briefly connected when Shigaraki tried to steal One For All from Deku in the Paranormal Liberation War arc. Not everyone can handle receiving a quirk from All For One. Sometimes the body just isn't a right fit for the quirk, like Yuga Aoyama for example. His stomach suffers from internal pain every time he uses his laser because his body just wasn't made for the quirk that he got. But as he used it more and more, he was able to reduce the suffering a bit. The effectiveness of the quirk will depend on the abilities of the user. This is even the case for the user of All For One. Using stolen quirks can become dangerous to them. There is a limit to how much they can control these quirks without it adversely affecting them. To put it simply, if the power of the quirk exceeds the strength of the body of the user, then it could cause some serious problems. Just like how Deku initially had problems with One For All, Tomura Shigaraki also experienced these problems during the Paranormal Liberation War when his own body started to tear apart. This was because he woke up before his new body was complete, so he didn't have the necessary strength to control all of those quirks to their fullest potential. This probably doesn't need to be said, but obviously the health condition of the user will significantly affect how much they can safely use All For One's power. Another weakness is that even though they can take and give quirks, they cannot destroy them. Not even if the quirk they possess is actively harming them like New Order did to Tomura Shigaraki. The previous user of All For One can take over and control the current user by fusing their two minds together. The copied version of the quirk that All For One, the person, gave himself doesn't give him as much command over stolen quirks like the original did. This may be the only reason as to why 9 could only hold 9 quirks at a time as well. Also, All For One cannot steal One For All due to its anti-theft properties. However, it is assumed that these properties can be overridden by someone with intense negative emotions like Tomura Shigaraki for instance. There are a variety of stolen quirks that exist within All For One, and I won't get into all of them in this quirk entry, but I will talk about some of the more notable ones. Hypertrophy allows the user to enlarge their arm at will, and it can be used with multiple other quirks as well. It is useful for getting more strength in the arm, and it even gave All Might some trouble. Impact Recoil allows the user to 
reverse the impact caused by an opposing physical force, like a punch for instance, and it would damage the opposition instead. It doesn't cancel out the impact completely, so the user of this quirk would still take some damage, and it doesn't reflect indirect attacks. However, we have seen all for one the person compensate for this by using it in combination with other quirks by warping someone else in front of him in order to take the impact of the hit. Speaking of which, warping allows the user to produce a black liquid that comes out of a person's mouth. The liquid would envelop the entire body and act as a warping portal. It would then vanish along with the target and reappear in a new location. It could only warp people to his location or away from his location, and the warping distance isn't that large. Infrared allows the user to be aware of their surroundings using infrared sensing. Its range is somewhat limited, but it can test the emotional state of others to a certain extent. Airwalk allows the user to stand on and control air around them, which allows for levitation. It gives them better mobility, but if they aren't focused enough, they will fall out of the sky. Forced Quirk Activation allows the user to forcefully activate someone's quirk against their will, like the name suggests. The user has to be touching the target and it will work whether they are conscious or not. It can be used in combination with Rivet Stab, which is a quirk that allows the user to generate black tendrils, which have red streaks from the user's body. It usually comes out of the fingers, but it can come out of the spine as well. They can pierce bodies and it is up to the user on whether they will injure the target or not. Air Cannon allows for the user to create shockwaves from their arms, which can be used to blow away projectiles. It can also be used as a very powerful attack that is capable of damaging multiple buildings. Hard Flame Fan allows the user to generate a wall of fire. This can be used to cover up part of their body for defense, but heat greater than that fire can pass through. Life Force allows the user to double their lifespan by making them age at a much slower rate. It also makes them look way younger than they actually are. If this quirk gets cancelled, the user would rapidly age into their true form. This quirk does come at the cost of physical mobility, but you could probably gain some mobility quirks to compensate for that. Super Regeneration is an artificial quirk created by Dr. Kudai Karaki. It allows for the user to regenerate in a short of injuries at incredible speed, even missing limbs. The regeneration doesn't work if the user is being beaten by their opponent faster than they can actually regenerate. Search is a quirk that allows the user to monitor and observe up to 100 people at a time. This includes knowing both their location, even from miles away, and their weak points. The information is permanently stored after usage of this quirk. Radio Waves allows the user to disrupt radio waves and cause communicators to malfunction. They can also transmit waveforms allowing for communication. And it can be used in combination with air cannons to shut down communications at a wider range. Spring-like limbs allows the user to store and release force by coiling their muscles like one would coil a spring. It can be used in combination with multiple other quirks, or it can be used by itself allowing for the user to launch someone away in close combat. It could even be used to launch yourself through the air. Like I said, there are a lot of quirks contained within this one, and I haven't even talked about all of them like his lie detection quirk or his strength enhancers, but these ones should paint a picture of how broad the variety of his quirks are. This quirk has had three users and they've all used it in slightly different ways. All for one, the person used this quirk to dominate Japanese society over a century ago. He did this by taking people's unwanted quirks away and giving them to people who genuinely wanted that power. In exchange, he got a bunch of favors and he grew a massive following of loyal subordinates who would do anything that he wanted. He used this quirk to help create creatures known as Nomu. His ability to transfer quirks significantly sped up the process for their creation. He was able to place a bunch of quirks in a body that was genetically altered to be able to handle it. And when it comes to combat, all for one, the person combined these quirks in perfect ways that made him a person to be feared. I already talked about some of it when I went through the stolen quirks, but basically he countered each quirk's weakness with another quirk, not dissimilar to how Shoto Todoroki uses his ice to make up for his overheating and vice versa. He only took quirks that he thought were easier to use so he wouldn't have to worry about the complexities of using it in conjunction with multiple quirks. He also used infrared to compensate for his blindness after he lost his eyes. Tomura had his whole body worked on in order to become the perfect vessel for the quirk All for One. Since both All for One and Decay require the use of his hands, he learned that he could simultaneously take someone's quirk from them and make them disintegrate. All for One's will fused with Shigaraki in order to create a being who is All for One with the wrath and perfect body of Shigaraki. Nine used this quirk similarly to All for One, but he was mostly just trying to find a cell activation quirk that would allow him to heal himself. A miscellaneous fact about this quirk, All for One is one of the oldest known quirks in this series along with One For All, Life Force, Fa Jin, and the unnamed Luminescence quirk. In a truly useless fact, the name of this quirk is clearly a reference to the phrase All For One and One For All from The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Damas. This is without a doubt one of the most complex quirks in this series. You'd think that it'd be easy because you'd essentially just have the power to take other people's power and use it to your advantage. 
However, there is a lot that actually goes into this because as quirks mix, it can result with unintended consequences due to the quirk singularity theory. I don't think that this is a quirk that I would want because of how much complications I'd have to deal with trying to control all of those quirks. And not to mention, if I obtained it, then my mind would be merged with All For One, which definitely isn't the vibe. But with that being said, I think we can officially commit All For One to the quirk registry. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I talk about a variety of different topics on this channel, mostly my hero right now, so I hope to see you there. This has been The Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.